everybody, this is Jean here. I'm coming to you from my kitchen this morning real quick. Um, I just wanted to, to uh, share with you, I think the last video I was telling you about my kitchen island. Well, this is it. This is my kitchen island. And as you can see, I just came in and I stuck my, um, I put my uh, Martelli cutting mat on my island. It only sticks out after about two inches. So my husband just has to put a little bit of uh, an extra bit of wood so when I go to cut this is my kitchen island it has drawers over here so I can put oh, there's scissors in there already I clean them out um, I can put my rotary cutters and everything in there um, we have we had bought this island uh, years ago and then we added a little table with some chairs inside the kitchen in our kitchen we have eight bar stools over there um, and then we had a little table over there for our large family. But I'm taking my kitchen island with me. Um, uh, an update on how we're doing <laughs> with our move. If you've just tuned in, uh, we're moving, we're downsizing from our large home. And um, so I caught Maxwell this morning um, as he was going to school. And my phone, of all the times it has to be breaking, glitching on and off, um, is not is not sending videos and whatever because I just did it on my phone. So I've actually recorded the little video I took of Maxwell on that camera on my phone. It's a little bit ghetto, but you must excuse. I got to get my phone fixed. Um, my husband just left for work. He's, he's busy. He's doing. Um, Elliot, who lives with us, our son, he will be moving. Um, he just went off to work also. Everything is moving and shaking. I'm doing. Um, have had some help getting stuff done. At this point, um, I'm just getting, I'm finding it, what can I say, emotional uh, to have too many people touching my things at this moment. Um, so I'm going through just the few bits that I can take here and there in our downsizing journey here um, because I can't take much. <laughs> but I'm taking my kitchen island. Um, um, and as everybody says, it's, they're just things, but um, I love my things, and it, it, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I did have a few meltdowns on, on when is, I don't know what today is, uh, Wednesday? On Monday. Oh, bad day on Monday. I'll, I'll, I'll take you through the good, bad, and the ugly of this. And that had nothing to do with the, the move. But I was tired long story short i had to go pay our taxes our real estate taxes because they're not figured into our mortgage so i had to go to the tax office um the local tax offices which is right around the corner and what happened was um i to give maxwell a bit of independent or give maxwell a bit of responsibility i had i have him Often, because I'm tired anyway, and that's my excuse, I had him take the check and the, re and the uh, bill into the tax office. It's from here to there. I can see him going in, and it's literally just a desk there. And then he pays it and gets the receipt back and, and gives it to me. Again, routine, our routine. Um, that we Well, this one he's done just a couple times in the last few years. So he, I'm waiting for him. I'm on my phone. I was tired. I was fed up. <laughs> I, was, I was resentful. I have to pay quite a lot of taxes, but never mind. Um, he comes out all like wide-eyed, and he's like, oh my word. He's like, mom, you need to come in. And I'm thinking, what's up? Here I go in to the tax office, Ugh. and we pay on installment plan. And every single year for 28 years, you pay the, the, uh, I think the school taxes in April, and then the real estate taxes are August 31st, October 31st, November 31st. That's the installment. So I already paid August 31st. So I'm, I'm seeing my bill, and it's there's October 31st, so I have the, the, the money for that. I go, and I said, what's the problem? She said, well, you haven't paid September's bill. I said, what, September? What are you talking about, September? And it's a $200 penalty because you haven't paid it. I said, what are you talking about, September? And she said, oh, it's here, right? Small print. Small print. They they've changed the the um, installment plan uh, from August 31st or August yeah August 31st to September 12th. <laughs> it's not even two weeks later that you have to come up with thousands of dollars that I budgeted for October November. So she said, well, she said you're late 
you have to pay before you, you know, as well as paying the October. Now it's it's August, September, August 31st, September 31st, uh, September 12th, and October 31st. September, October, August, September, and October. I said, I said, I've been doing this for 28 years. When did, did this just change? Well, yes. And she said, well, it's on your bill. And it literally fine print. So I had to come up with thousands of dollars, right? Check. I'm like, huh? I was, I was not having a good day. <laughs> and at that moment, my husband called. I'm in the tax office. <laughs> and poor Maxwell, he's all wide-eyed. And we don't, we don't, uh, we don't speak, uh, we don't talk about heavy things around Maxwell, but we don't sugarcoat things either. He has to live in the real world, and this is what we do, and he knows we pay taxes, and you know, pay back Caesar's things to Caesar, but God's things to God, that's what the Bible says, and we have no problem doing that. But this stunk, I'm telling you. I was, I was livid, and, and I, I'm using self-control, and I'm thinking, okay, but I really, I really, I didn't tell her off, but I was very righteously indignant. Let me just put you put it that way. Righteously indignant that this penalty for something uh, and you know something that was so wrong. And I I said I'm sure other people have had this happen too. And I said there's you know hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars in penal penalties. And for the first time ever, this woman she sort of is a, a tough woman, but she couldn't sort of look at me. She sort of like shied away. I didn't tell her off. I even thanked her at the end. Thank you very much. That's what we have to do. Because I have to show Ellie, uh, Maxwell that this is what we have to do as law-abiding citizens. But um, our taxes have quadrupled in, since we've lived here. Anyway, that was my Monday. I'm going off. I'm going off. I'm going off. I've gone off the subject, right? Here's my little mat, my cutting mat. This is going to be awesome. I'm, I'm doing stuff. Maxwell's okay. Um, my husband's okay. Elliot's okay. I'm okay today. I have gotten a bit tired. Didn't have a good day on Monday. I was crying. I was crying. <laughs> but um, I'm going through my things and, and picking out stuff that, that I know is going to go where. And um, uh, the boys are coming tonight. A couple of our sons are coming tonight to look at some books. From the library because I've chosen the books that we can put in our little library wall we have a whole room which is a library so I've taken my little book uh, my some of my books that I can take um, quite a few actually I was saying quite a few um, yeah so anyway I just wanted to check in on you uh, excuse the grainy video that's coming up I have to fix my phone I don't know what's wrong with it oh it's another thing um, uh, what else oh Maxwell has to Maxwell has to um, get a um, real ID in, in, the, in the state of Pennsylvania. I think we all have to, but he needs it for his schooling. That's another whole subject. The schooling is being very good. It's, it's as it is right now. Um, we may even maybe try to keep our address because we'll keep our home until we can sell it. Um, so that's all right. It's okay right now for the next maybe two months, uh, but he needs a real ID and some other things. So we have to go to the DMV. Oh. <laughs> uh, if, you, if, 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 you, if you're from anywhere else, the DMV, the Department of Motor Vehicles, you sit in line in this horrible cold, oh, it's horrible, horrible, horrible. But I had to, oh, and last night, I have everything in a safe, all of the birth certificates and social security cards, everything, all of our deeds and everything, and um, I couldn't find Maxwell's birth certificate, and he was obsessing a bit. He's like, well, you have to get my birth, and there's all of our, my kids' birth certificates. They're all married men, I still have all their birth certificates. They said, Mom, keep them. I'm like, so I said, I'm looking through, and I'm very meticulous. And I, all of a sudden, I'm thinking, oh, no, where is Maxwell's birth certificate? And he was panicking a little bit. And all night long, I was panicking a little bit. I woke up this morning. It was in another place because I, I needed to have it, some forms filled out. And immediately, I woke up early this morning. I put my hand to it. So it's all happening here. Everything's fine with the move. We are positive. Maxwell's cool, as you can, you'll be able to see. Elliot's cool, he has some plans. Um, we're all good. So I just wanted to check in, say good morning to you folks, and um, have a lovely day. And I will get on with my day, moving and packing and shaking and getting things done. All right, see you later. Bye. Morning. And you gotta go to school. Can I stay home? No. You can't stay home. <laughs> 
So, what would be our routine in our new house? One, in the new house, you'll, you'll, you'll hear me more. I okay. will. <laughs> uh, I will. Oh, my goodness, it's much smaller. Um, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll hear me oh, get up. What is the biggest thing with, that we have to sort out? That you have to be really, really good with? Uh, laundry. Laundry, Maxwell. I... What do we have? We have, downstairs, in our basement, we have... Everything. We have two washing machines and three dryers because we've had a family of ten, ten kids. Uh, in, in reality, twelve, including you. Twelve. So I sort of ran a bed and breakfast, didn't I? I ran a small hotel. So we had all of those, all of these kids here, and all this washing. And now, what do we have in that house? <clears throat> a tiny little washing machine and dryer combo. Oh my word! A tiny uh, little thing. Um, what I was thinking, you bring a good wa washer and dryer. Yeah. I do the laundry downstairs. You do the laundry in the basement. I'll t I'll do the laundry. Oh, Maxwell. Or will I? Or will you? <laughs> I don't know, Maxwell. <laughs> so we have to we have to get used to that. But it's only three of us. Um, but, but we, I want um, the washer, the, the, the nice washer. The nice washing machine. I we want, have a fabulous washing machine that holds two whole loads. And now we have one washing machine that holds like two pair of underpants. <laughs> Why underpants? <laughs> oh, there's Elliot. Good morning, Elliot. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Elliot. <laughs> Elliot's in his new adventure, too. My word. Yeah. It's all happening. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Um, it's likely that it's likely. I was just talking with someone down in Miami, uh, in the in the um, oh, what's it called? The scheduling for the Bahamas disaster relief. So, oh. it's, so they're like, as soon as you're ready, let us know. So I'm thinking maybe January. I might be going. I might be going down there for a month or however long. Fantastic. LA does disaster relief work. Yeah, I did Miami and Puerto Rico last year. What a good boy he is. I miss you, Elliot. Yeah, likewise.